Nice taps, ain't they, these are? Yeah, they've got some good weight to them, to be honest. With most taps, you have the isolation valves behind them, and if someone's not opened it fully, it will make a loud noise because obviously it's restricting the flow going through the actual valves. I'd normally say it's either isolation valve is just making a bit of noise. It's an easy fix, to be honest. It's normally just a kitchen and bath uh, tap or a bathroom tap. It's literally open the cupboard of the kitchen unit go underneath and just fully open the isolation valve. What it is is sometimes people, they buy the interact cap for their basin they've got. What they've done is they turn the isolation down a bit just so it stops the flow so it's not as powerful because sometimes they get the wrong style tap and it hits the sink right at the front and it will splash straight back up to you. So sometimes it's purpose been shut off a bit just so it's, it's not as powerful. It all depends what's been supplied really. When it comes to basins, you can get what you call mini basin mixers. They don't stand up as high. So if you've got a shallow bowl or a skinny bowl, that's what you want to be putting on. You want to put a mini one on because it don't come out as far. Some people prefer the look of the bigger ones, so they get the bigger ones on. They're a bit too powerful for the actual sink, it's the basin itself, so it just splashes on the back of them. You see we're a good tap to the fact the movement's nice. It's not clunky or cheap or anything like that. It's got a good good movement on them. So that's the taps in place. So next, obviously we've just got installed the overflow and the actual waste trap. This does get supplied with another insert. Yeah, so it's just a matte black finish on these taps themselves. Imagine your overflow. You don't really tend to get them in gloss, to be honest, on the blacks. They are more, more to the matte finish. I've always said silver lasts the longest in the sense of, because he's obviously got a coat of paint on the top of them. As long as you look after them, they, they are fine. They have got to be looked after a bit more than just a, an actual silver tap itself. Another thing that I personally do, it's just personal choices. Why I fit them, I take out the actual plug itself. Just gives you that extra protection that it's not going to be scratched while you're messing around installing it. You know, it's straightforward, but you can have leaks. So I don't solely rely on rubbers, but that's a personal thing that I do. I put an extra bead of silica on these when I insert them. And I've always had issues when I've ever, ever installed them with a rubber. This overflow here, you can actually have as a the filler valve as well. You'd have like a mixer on your wall, like the thermostatic mixer, and you have a pipe coming down embedded in the wall and it would connect through into here. So your bath can actually fill and have that as the overflow all together instead of having your, your taps on the top. So basically what this tap is, you, you got like an elbow and you can have that threaded into there and you'd have a mix, obviously a mixer on the wall that you control directly and then that'll come and into there and fill through the actual overflow. So you can have your bath in from the inside instead of having taps on the show. So obviously that is a protective film to leave on until the very end on every bathroom really. It's just a form of protection on the bath, but obviously when you're still looking, you do want it to be ripped off, same as when you're installing your, your taps and so forth. So now that we are all in. So we know that's now got a full bead all the way around it that's connected to hold it in position. We can now go ahead and bolt our flexible tails up to the actual taps themselves which is a bit of an awkward job. And obviously you don't want these to have too much of a kink in them. And it's one of them, people always think you have to over tighten flexible connectors, but they do have a rubber seal in, so obviously you, you can squash that rubber if you tighten it too much. But once you're doing it for a while, you generally know the feel. You want to make sure you obviously you don't get a kink like that, it's not stopping flow at all. But obviously if it does kink, then you, you will reduce the flow a little bit on that. So the filter that we've got on the tap at the moment don't aerate the water that's coming out. It's clear, so you can see there's no air bubbles mixed in with the water itself. So some people prefer that look, or it does get provided with the aerated filter. So that's the difference between the two. That's the one we've just had on this one. So that's just a straight through. There's nothing stopping it at all. Whereas this one, you can see there's many little holes. So it filters it more as it comes through. And you'll see the water. It's almost got like air bubbles mixed in. It aerates the water. So we'll turn that on now and you'll see the difference. So you can see the water is more white, so it's got the air bubble mixing with it to actually achieve that a lot. So it's still producing the same amount of water, it don't stop any flow. It's just what, what you prefer yourselves, really. 